welcome to this short Reckless Relic film about Scythians and their art. Who were the Scythian people? Well, my research shows that from the 6th to the 3rd centuries BC, the Scythians occupied the steppes between the Don, the Volga and the Urals, and their culture linked tribes of eastern Kazakhstan to tribes in the High Altai. The Scythians were originally nomadic tribes of warriors who roamed the land now known to us as southern Siberia. In the 5th century BC, Herodotus wrote of monuments that showed the Scythians were related to the Chimerians, an older culture of the ancient steppe. Many tribes over a very wide area shared the same economic and cultural existence. By 200 BC, Scythian culture had been flourishing for 300 years and their influence spread from China to the Black Sea, where, on northern coastal flatlands, the Scythians buried their dead in earth burial mounds called Kurgans. It is from these burial mounds that artefacts have been discovered that teach us more about their society. Culturally, the Scythians were regarded as excessive drinkers who did not water down their wine like the Greeks. Herodotus observed Scythian vapour baths, where, inside a tent, hemp seeds smouldered in order to intoxicate the occupants. Living in prototype caravans, their lifestyle required little furniture, although they appreciated a good carpet. The Altai mountain region forms the border for Russia, Kazakhstan, China and Mongolia and it is here in these mountains that Scythian burial tombs have been discovered, preserved in the permafrost. The tomb chamber is typically a wooden room built at the bottom of a deep hole. The mummified body rested in a tree trunk coffin surrounded by possessions. It is because of the permafrost that the grave goods are so well preserved and we are able to appreciate the fine artistic development flourishing in Scythian culture. Scythian warrior society had no interest in writing, but developed weapons using a powerful superior bow in warfare. The Scythians achieved the complete destruction of their enemies when mounted archers had the capacity to sack Nineveh, Assyria's main city, in the 5th century BC. The key to the Scythians' success were their skills for handling and riding horses, developed from living on the grassy steppes of Siberia. These intrepid riders covered large distances from Mongolia to the Black Sea as they managed large herds of sheep and cattle. Horses sometimes wore a festive headdress and could be sacrificed as part of a warrior's grave goods. A gold talk discovered in a Crimean grave and dated to 4th century BC depicts a bearded horseman wearing an ankle-length cap Aftan, tied at the waist with long trousers held by a strap beneath the boot. The horse had a harness and bridle but was ridden bareback without stirrups. So let's take a look at Scythian art. Scythian art covers various contexts from textile decoration to rock art. Craftsmen excelled at metalwork, utilising Siberia's rich metal ores. Techniques included casting, forging and inlaying, and they worked gold, bronze and iron. Scythian art is notable for specific motives such as the reclining deer, and it absorbed ancient eastern imagery such as the holy tree with its attendant divinities and fantastic animals. In 1763, a burial mound was excavated and a short Scythian dagger was found. Its scabbard and hilt was decorated with fantastic animals and anthropomorphic deities gathered around a sacred tree. Discoveries have revealed that Scythian culture is spread over a wide area. In 1830, on the straits connecting the Black Sea to the Sea of Azov, a stone vault was uncovered beneath a 4th century BC burial mound. It contained Greek-made jewellery using Scythian motives and included figures illustrating a Greek legend about the founding of the Scythian dynasty. Artifacts such as horse gear, iron weapons and beads were found in Scythian burials of the Black Sea region and similar have been discovered in Armenia and ancient Uratu. Further, a 7th century BC tomb containing the Zewea treasure was located in Iranian Kurdistan with Scythian burials in the Ukraine yielding a number of Thracian objects. 
Kurgans from the coastal steppes to the Cuban region all reveal magnificent Scythian art, and it has been suggested that the reclining deer with branch-like antlers and the panther may be tribal symbols. Archaeologist Alexander Shkurko, an authority on early Scythian art, said... The artist was not unduly concerned with modelling the animal's body or adding precise detail. What held his attention was its inner qualities, its strength, speed and essential wildness. The decorative treatment of the horns and the compactness of the composition confer on the image an almost heraldic appearance. Bodies discovered in Scythian burial tombs are extensively tattooed. Designs include fantastic animals, birds and dots, perhaps suggesting a system that used acupuncture. A tomb discovered in Pajiric in the Altai Mountains of Siberia held the oldest known pile carpet yet discovered, and with it were five heavily tattooed individuals. The site, high in the remote Siberian Ulagan Valley, was first excavated in 1929, followed by a more thorough examination between 1947 and 1949. Discoveries were made of perishable artefacts which had been frozen and preserved for almost two and a half thousand years. Mummified bodies of men and women were found, along with a ceremonial chariot and horses in rich trappings. At Pajeric, an elderly man, probably a chieftain, was embalmed and his skin portrayed a lifetime of intricate tattoos. Beasts, real and imaginary, pranced and tumbled down his arms and other parts of his body. The frost-preserved designs made with soot, which had been rubbed into pinpricks made into the skin. More tattoos were found on a mummy that became known as the Siberian Ice Maiden. Also discovered in a Pajak grave, this Iron Age woman was discovered in 1993 on a plateau in the Ukok Mountains in the modern Republic of Altai. Dressed in expensive Chinese silk, she probably died around the age of 25 of cancer. It is assumed that she was a shaman or from a high-ranking family and that this is reflected in the designs of her tattoos. Her tattoos, from her shoulders down to her hands, are assumed to indicate her social status and could denote which tribe she belonged to. A mythological creature on her arm represents a deer with griffin's beak and goat antlers, and there is a panther with sheep legs and a deer's head. It is suggested that the animals represent the living and the afterworld. Two warriors buried nearby had similar tattoos. It is thought that a person's first tattoo was always on their shoulder, usually the left one. The number of tattoos could have been linked to age, as it has been observed that older people had more. The Siberian Ice Maiden has among the most complex tattoos discovered on a body dating from this period. She is now kept in a mausoleum at the Republican National Museum of gorno altsk the Republic of Altai. There is a quote worth repeating from Maria P. Zatvachina, another Scythian expert. She says, Art was indeed in the people's blood, and the images of animals and birds, whether wild or domesticated, real or fantastic, which figured in their decorations, was more than brightly coloured ornaments. They revealed the spirit of the people, their beliefs, the way they looked at things. In their travels abroad, the ancient Altians absorbed what was best in their neighbour's art, and then added their own local colour and interpretations. Thus, they found place in their own creations for griffins and sphinxes borrowed from Western Asia and for patterns of lotus flowers, ornamental palm trees and geometrical designs whose origins were in the countries of the Near East and in Egypt. Well, thank you for watching. The corresponding article is free to read on recklessrelic.com and you can also find links there to other interesting articles about the Scythians. Reckless Relic t-shirts featuring three Scythian designs will be available for Christmas 2020. Check out our website. Reckless Relic t-shirts are black cotton quality garments. These designer t-shirts are built to last. Choose your favourite design and wear it. Follow us as we add new designs and enjoy our sales when generous price reductions can help you spread your designer clothes budget. Thank you for watching from the Reckless Relic team.